Hello guys, Ahmed Hali for the entertainment sport here in Dub Radio Video Vixens. <laughs> Your day is here. You know, it's so surprising that uh, some video vixen offer or render their uh, vixen services for free. How serious is this? You know, and um, because they are working with a celebrity or with a very popular artist so they decide to render their services free in the name that uh, you know we are still trying to market ourselves i mean that is so unprofessional actually you are the few video vixens who are making that profession look like uh, it's a whole kind of uh, business now uh, it has come to my attention that, um, and when I talk about uh, vixens, I'm talking about uh, female video of vixens. I'm sorry, I don't mean to attack uh, you directly, but uh, anyway, let's call it spare speed. So you find that um, this this artist who wants to do some uh, video for his or you know, yeah, let me say his. So actually, it is a, uh, it is something that is happening between um, uh, female video vixens and the male celebrities or artists so you find yourself you find a certain lady attached to a certain musician she automatically gets that leg of becoming a video of vixen or they've already agreed that you are the person who is going to be the vixen in this uh, video and you know what you know what the only pay that uh, they get to be given is one bread soda uh, possibly the fare to the location or the venue of the shoot and also the fare or transportation from the venue of the shoot and back to where either you are picked or where you'll be dropped uh, by whatever means you'll be using either an uber a matatu then you walk to your residential place maybe so my question is, uh, do you really understand uh, what entails uh, being a video of vixen? Do you really understand the business of being a video of vixen? Or did you just get into the business because you just want to be known? You know, there is no way you can always be mixing business with the pleasure. Because uh, it is uh, true and it is uh, factual that some video vixen even end up into the beds of these so-called musicians or artists you end up on their beds and as if it is so funny you're so happy about it in fact you'll be finding some vixen sitting down or a story about like how so and so is so good in bed or so and so is so weak in bed or even they try to you know, beat up their chest like, um, you know, there's nothing you can tell me. I've been with so and so. I've been with so and so. I don't want to call names because uh, I've received quite uh, so much information about this. And uh, by the way, if you really know an artist uh, who is, it is a time that we really have to shame these people who is known for using video vixens in this manner, you know. These are not your maidens. These are not. Uh, maybe you find someone who is so vulnerable, inexperienced, somebody who is too naive. Like I could remember some days back in Kisumu while we were looking or we were searching for video vixen. Um, you will just see artists popping up with certain ladies, and you'll be like, "Oh my! You mean this guy is so loaded to an extent that uh, he can manage to pay all these ladies I'm seeing around?" Uh, these were people that uh, after then they will be their girlfriends or being you know friends with benefits kind of thing oh my if you don't know being a video vixen is is a business you know you get to sign contracts mm -hmm. and speaking about contracts it is one thing that uh, is actually uh, putting me at loggerheads with uh, artists from uh, Kisumu, especially those who are complaining that after a certain event they are not being paid i mean why should you complain about not being paid well in the first place 
you did not lay down nice measures to ensure that uh, you are paid. You should be signing contracts. And before you sign contracts, you should be reading in between the lines to get to know the contents and the nature of the contract. What does it dictate? What is needed from your side? What do you need from the organizer's side? How much will you be paid? What are the terms and how you're going to be paid? What is the deposit that they're going to give you before the performance? Are they going to pay the balance immediately you are on stage or are they going to pay the balance immediately you are done with the performance? So you really get to know those kind of terms which at the end of the day calls for management. So it is the same mechanism that I am driving towards these video vixens. If you need to be a video vixen for a certain artist, kindly ask those people what is their budget? What are they offering? You can just be there on a video twerking and doing all kind of bullshit, but then you got to, no, not to be paid. Uh, remember, even when you do those things, you got much to lose anyway in terms of reputation. I'm being told that reputation is in accordance with the business that you are in. You can build a reputation as a video vixen and people might say, oh, that lady. She does it well. She did it well in certain videos, so we can as well use her here. Okay, fine. In whatever business it is, it is good to guard your reputation. But then, if it is realized and it is known that you always offer your services for free, then you become worthless. You know? You'll just be uh, anything and uh, something and anything that people can be using, be using any time they feel like. Someone is desperate, you become their replacement. You are always a number two. You are always an option. So stop creating options of yourselves. Create value. Be a necessity. Don't be an option. In this entertainment business, as long as you are not a necessity and you become an option, then you are losing it all. The art industry, people need to be focused. I mean... How I wish there was a company that could be managing video vixens, just like um, we have companies that are managing uh, artists in different calibers, be it dancers, be it uh, you know musicians, be it uh, people who are drawing. How I wish there was, there was also a company that will be responsible for managing video vixens because they are so vulnerable, let me tell you. They are so vulnerable. I mean, if you're sure you are good at something, you are good at it. No, no, nothing. Yes, somebody much, m might be much better than you. But remember what you are doing, they cannot do it. So sometimes you cut your niche, you create your niche. You know, you create value for yourself. You know, the business is about demand and supply. You know. When the demand is high and the supply, you know, and the supply is minimal, oh man, that's a kill. That's a kill. Can you imagine if you're one video vixen and uh, like five artists are in need of your services to appear in their videos? You see, you're in demand, but the supply is, you understand that? You know, so it is sometimes uh, good to, you know, just let you know what I think and also like to know what you think. If you love content of this nature and you're watching from YouTube, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the notification button so anytime that we are live, you'll be the very first person to be notified or any other time that we upload content of this nature. If you're watching from Facebook, kindly follow us and also you'll be receiving these. Uh, uh, information anytime that we upload it. My solat time for prayer is up anyway. Guys, my name is Ahmed Hali for the Unscripted Talks here in Dub Radio. Also for the entertainment sport. This is your number one online radio station and virtual station. Guys, just be on that button. Don't charge it because one there's a lot to talk about. And this is just the beginning. Peace out. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu.
za Afrika. Dab Radio ndio mpango mzima.